let's see. Okay, so one point that I already rate that I already highlighted on the screen was um, one second. What a good looking panel we have, by the way. I just was looking at screenshots. Yes, I took one. Yes. So Nanda was like, I approve of that message. So Sean. You know, well, yes. Well, Adam is Adam's looking good. Ben's looking. Bre- everyone's looking beautiful. Natalie, yeah. you're looking great. Everyone's looking. Everyone's looking. Hot. What are What are yeah. you reading right now? Oh, do you see how there are comments in the YouTube? Sean White says this also gives us the benefit of forcing Republicans to vote against it during a pandemic, so we can use it against them in the midterms. Hard agree. Can, can I ask Can yeah. I ask a question about that? Because because I, I don't understand that argument, because if the uh, uh, how are how is it going to be used against the Republicans any more than the fact that the Republicans are right now shouting from the rooftops that they don't support Medicare for all and that they oppose it? I mean, this was a big like like one of Trump's big tactics of the election was to I was a stupid tactic, you know, because it's so popular. But like, you know, but he was like constantly accusing Biden of secretly supporting Medicare for all. I don't think the Republicans and, yeah, are hiding their social- opposition to it. Right. And socialized medicine. But. Part of the reason that the left can't respond and say you're all a bunch of ghouls who are letting people drop dead is because people like Biden and Buddha judge Medicare for all who want it. And Jim, there's no one more progressive than Jim Clyburn Clyburn, right, <laughs> are in the pocket of not to sound whatever, but they're like they're not friends of Medicare for all. So not to sound I, like what? I don't Oh, like a, some are like you? No, like not to sound like No, 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 like some over the top, like, you know. In the pocket of blah, 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 blah. You know, right. like, whatever, but like, oh, no, I, well, yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm burning. I identify whenever I can. No, but more like, That's your you sexual. Know, it's your sexual yeah. identity. Yeah. Burning, 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 yeah. No, but like, <laughs> I think that's an important point, Ben. And I think that the, the thing that excites me about this idea is that the more we can shift the Overton window, making this an increasingly black and white issue, we are forcing people, we're cornering them, like one thing at a time, right? So first we get people on record, we make it official, right? None of this, it's complicated, Facebook status, make it official, <laughs> ring, ring or no ring, right? You make it official where people are on this issue. And then you have this line between the people who are for it and against it. And then Democrats get to kind of use that against the Democrats who aren't for it. And then that becomes a thing. And now we have Democrats hopefully finally galvanizing around it, right? And now that's a thing and they have a unified voice and then they can talk about the Republicans being these sadistic, sociopathic ghouls who are indifferent to human suffering in a way that they can't right now because there's no political price for not really being for it. I also remember that part of Bernie's general election, Bernie would have won strategy was that, yes, half of Republicans support right. Medicare for all. So Republicans, remember, back when they were trying to pass this, you know, the Trump tax cut, $1.7 trillion, 85% of which went to the top 1%, what, like 20% of Republicans supported it? They didn't even like it. They railroad that kind of crap through all the time, complete indifference to what their base wants. And because Democrats don't really have a lot of... Um, you know, uh, aren't really exactly set themselves up, haven't really set themselves up on a pedestal, won't support a wealth tax, even though overwhelming majorities of Republicans and Democrats support it, you know, are very squeamish about not being tagged as the like, not going to, you know, no more taxes are still living in the Bush era. Like they don't point those kinds of things out with a kind of moral high ground that they could otherwise do. So this could be if, if Democrats were to actually own this issue. This is a world where we actually are able to peel off those from the right in a way that FDR did. FDR, you get an electoral map that actually looks like that when the only red state is Vermont. I, I agree. I think this is one of these rare, not rare issues, but 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 not not a common issue where you can actually use it to grow um, um, the, the the coalition. Um, I think it does cross some political lines to some extent. I think it does give us inroads into a broader working class um, vote. Um, mul- 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 and 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 I think that it, it can be used exactly in that fashion to to, to push a broader progressive agenda forward. Um, I, I think my only point, is, and I think you know. So I think probably the, the biggest takeaway that that, that, that that matters to me is that none of us know or can write down or can draw the pathway, a diagram showing how we get from here where we are today to Medicare for all. And I wish we could. I wish we could, you know, come up with a battle plan and, um, you know, on a whiteboard and draw uh, a path um, and the things we need to do and what we need to accomplish. Um, I just think political change doesn't, doesn't happen that way. We don't know when the politi- the pivotal election will happen that will actually give us the, 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 the Congress and the president that we need to pass Medicare for all. But if we're ever going to achieve it, we need a massive, multifaceted, multifocal um, movement that is pushing in multiple directions 
all the time, every day. Um, and so that has been sort of my sort of overriding perspective on uh, on this. And it's and it may be vague, but I think it's it's realistic. 